Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to take a look at the EOS version 2.8 which is based on Android 14 for our Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, Note 7 and the Note 7 FE. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is EOS which is a privacy focused OS and this is totally de-googled but you do get Micro G for those who want, you can use, you have to just go into system then go inside here as you can see Micro G and you can see here you can add your accounts and you can uh, you know configure this uh, those who use micro g they know already how to use but if you are the normal you know g apps user so please don't flash g apps it's not recommended to flash g apps on this rom so guys this is a home screen as well as the app drawer there is no separate uh, app drawer or the the home screen the dock and stuff this is the home screen and the app drawer itself and you can see you have all these apps by default and this is the dock and this is pretty much iOS uh, style you can see all the you know icons the uh, the settings icon and most of the stuff looks like vintage to me so it is kind of iOS style but that's not the problem because some people like it the icons are different and that's what makes it really great experience that you get to see something different on your Galaxy S8 not the regular Google apps not the regular normal icons the USB icons not the regular One UI Samsung icons so this would be something different now there is a separate space for your widget so you just have to left swipe and you can see you get suggestions the app suggestions and you have cloud account you can create or log in then you have all these widgets i don't know for some reason the weather is not working because i rebooted a device two three times for the purpose of the video but i don't know why it has stopped working so maybe it will work afterwards i don't know but i have enabled location and all that stuff but it's still not working i have it set up and i have also set my location but it is still not working and it's been 15 to 20 minutes so there's no update refresh so maybe you can just you know add or uh, you know remove and add it back and these are all the widgets you can get these are all the system widgets you can add and as you can see all these apps have supported widgets so this is really nice also guys there are no launcher settings so when you tap uh, like long press on the home screen it just vibrates there is no pinch out so there is nothing there is no launcher settings you cannot you know change stuff you cannot rearrange icons so it is just how it is and i think this is sorted the way it has been by a to z so there is no need to do that but people who like to you know add an icons or add something to the different screen you can add that maybe you can add it to a different screen yes you can add add those apps to a different screen so you can keep two three screens for your different different apps and you can categorize them but there's no way you can make folders maybe okay you can also make folders so there is no settings to do that you just have to long press the app and yeah that's how you can uh, change it into folders and into different screens so that's how you can do it now let's move to the settings so this is the settings UI it's based on lineage OS and it's totally simple so as you can see it's smooth the settings UI is and we get some icons which will give identification to the uh, name which is given so storage there's a storage icon battery there's a battery icon and you can see the colorful icons make it look really nice and appealing than the regular black and white icons too now all the settings are based on lineage so there is nothing different if you have watched my lineage os uh, 21 video which is for the galaxy s7 you can check it out here you can see all the settings down here there's nothing extra but here uh, there are some things which i would love to tell you that the wallpapers so let's move to the wallpaper style change wallpapers on device wallpaper it has a variety of wallpapers uh, this is the default one which i did not like at all but other than that the wallpapers are really nice and i really love them the uh, it's really uh, you know it's really unique the variety is totally diversified there are no single colors so yeah i really love them now the additional features are advanced privacy so you can see you have all the uh, advanced privacy dashboard you have a separate uh, option to go inside this stuff and you can see you can uh, you know change this stuff uh, yeah trackers and all that so yeah this is this is totally uh, you know for your privacy purposes so yeah you can check that out i'm really not sure why i will be using that but yeah here's some parental control so if you're giving this phone to a child then you can set parental control so it does not go and uh, 
you know the child does not visit some certain websites which are not meant for him or her and these are the system options here you can see micro g then status bar options all the options from lineage os are in here so there's no need to worry then you can also have navbar buttons and you can also have gestures but in order to you know have the gestures option enabled you have to enable on screen navbar then go back then go to gestures then you can see navigation mode then we have gesture navigation and you can also use gesture navigation to make use of the screen so yeah that's how it works but for me i have the buttons and the backlight is also working so yeah for me the buttons uh you know the button navigation is preferred the hardware keys navigation because of this lights and guys other than that to conclude about this rom everything will be working fine if you have used the android 14 version of lineage os which is the lineage os 21 on your galaxy s7 so the bugs will be uh, similar to them and i think there are no such bugs like almost everything is working fine obviously volt will not work on these aosp roms it will only work on samsung based roms like the one ui based roms and you have other stuff working like calling i don't have a sim right now but calling texting your camera that will work fine so there are no issues related to that and guys the last thing that i always show at the beginning of the video that this is android version 14 and it has the february 2025 security patch so yeah i totally forgot to show this at the beginning of the video but yeah here it is we have the latest security patches also the build is 25 28th uh, february so yeah you are getting regular updates but this is unofficial so you have to go to the source forge where i will link it down below in the description you have to search uh it's it is specific for every device so you have to search hero lte for our galaxy s7 hero 2 lte for the galaxy s7 edge and a uh, grace LT for the galaxy note 7 and the galaxy note fe so yeah you can search it and you have to download the latest version only you can search 2.8 and you can see u which is android u which is android 14 and that will be the version and you can just check the date and so yeah you can uh, download the latest version accordingly so guys that was it for the eos android 14 on our galaxy s7 s7 edge and the note fe now guys the installation is quite simple you just have to wipe uh, data cache dalvik cache system vendor and you just have to flash the eos there's no need to flash g apps because we have micro g and if you don't want to you know use micro g then maybe just you know get the experience and yeah you can switch to your normal rom so yeah that's it and also guys don't try to flash g apps i don't know if that will work uh, you know maybe some things will broke or maybe your device won't boot or maybe some things might happen or i don't know if it's not that like it's not that risky i'm not trying to you know scare you guys but yeah you guys can try it out on your device and just let me know if the g apps working g apps flashing is working fine or not so yep that's it if you guys like the video press the like button if not the dislike button is there then you have the subscribe button to subscribe and watch more of my content on the galaxy s7 s7 edge noted s8 yeah all that uh, note fe also yeah like i have the s8 s7 but yeah it's unified so that's it bye bye all the feedbacks will be in the comment section that's what i forgot to tell you so bye bye guys see you soon